that is a great morning, you know, to see the inauguration of the a bike program in this city, uh, which is sponsored by the Ready Labs, you know, and, and, and whatnot. But unfortunately, we will not be getting the minister, you know, this morning to do, to do the harness for us. So those of you who have some very imminent, you know, programs or commitment to patients and things like that, you can be excused. You know, I don't want at the cost of the patients waiting on you or surgeries and things like that, you know. Go ahead and do what you need to do and very shortly we will carry on with the program. Healthcare facilities like us, access to healthcare facilities should be on a priority basis from any governmental undertaking at the end of the day. I think we thank to initiatives like Uber and Ola. I think uh, our uh, Chief Operating Officer Harish Manian has recently entered into a contract with uh, Uber you know, so that they give priority and we, they have been educated in terms of you know, what the hospital stands for and the hours that we are open and all of those things. So these initiatives with the government also sponsors for any public health care facility. And us, when we are also private, by the end of the day, we are a public health care facility. Such outreach will tremendously have an impact, and particularly when we are located in a growing city where you know, easy access to transportation is always challenging. You know? I'd like to engage with you more because your insight into you know, uh, green initiatives that you have done and you write so phenomenally well as Continental was the first hospital in the country that was identified to be a green hospital building, which we also received an award. We'd like to continue to foray in that direction for the near future and see how best we can, we can set an example. So the event of this morning, as you all know, ladies and gentlemen, is that to continue our journey in the information and technology that we, we as an institution has undertaken. I just want to give you a glimpse for a minute how did we all start with regards to IT and electronic communication. We have laid out roughly several kilometers of fiber optic cable is in the institution. Infrastructure is absolutely important for whatever we are doing at this point in time. I don't know how many of you are aware of this. Several kilometers of fiber optic cable for today's computers and terminals that are working in this institution. We have more than 10,000 nodal points and our IBM was our vendor when this infrastructure has happened. It took months of meetings. I still remember 2011, you know, uh, in initially 2011 and at the beginning of 2012, visiting with IBM, visiting with Compaq, visiting with HP, and so many of these different people in IBM that has very successfully undertaken. And if you all look, if you all understand the amount of investment that has gone into initially, close to about 14 crores which in those days of the dollar exchange translates to roughly about four to five million dollars. 14 crores has gone into the basic infrastructure, the server blades, the software, this thing. I had this vision because anytime if you're doing, if you're planning for something, strategy ultimately becomes extraordinarily important. We should never look for today, you know, in enterprises or particularly in healthcare. You should have that extraordinary vision to think about what's, what is coming up the pike. Are we ready for the immediate future and the near future? So today we're enjoying that infrastructure, superimposed on that. You know, we are trying to build slowly and introducing in a new, uh, what do you call, new programs, new outreach abilities and all of those things that physicians and, and uh, patients and nurses and staff are able to enjoy. I should truly compliment all the doctors and the staff of this institution were so extraordinarily passionate who came forward at the time of opening of this hospital without any complaint that their ability to use the pen and the pencil in terms of keeping a record of the patient is being taken away. You all have volunteered, you all have passionately participated, you all were part of the committees that we used to meet once every month and brainstorm ideas, what else that we can do to expand and all of those things. So I should, I should pay the, one of the biggest tributes but for your participation that has happened, your contribution, your suggestions, you know, we would not have been here today, you know, where we are. Now, yes, could we have done much better? You know, anytime te as technology evolves, we always can anticipate to do a lot more better and a and, and lot more things which costs us money, which costs us talent, which costs us skill sets. So we have now, at this point in time, where we are. We need to run from here at a very rapid pace to continue to distinguish ourselves of what we had two or three years ago. This hospital was, look, we truly, we are that one first. We are the first digital hospital in the country, where end to end, we implemented our EMR, even though it has, you know, just like any other program.